Hey guys, this is Sam's Mac Help here, and today I've got another quick tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be using Final Cut Express, and I'm going to show you how to avoid rendering every two minutes when you make a change in it to your video clip. I've used this program, this extra program, in my, one of my videos before. It's called MPEG Stream Clip. You just need to go to Google and download it. I will have the link in the description though for you. So once you've downloaded MPEG Stream Clip, you need to go and open it up. And then once you get, you need to find your video clip that you're going to put in Final Cut Express. Um, I've just got a birds on bird feeder video clip of the birds in the snow on our bird feeder outside. I just drag this into MPEG Stream Clip. As you can see, it loads it up here. File, export to QuickTime, and then on the compression drop down up here, you need to change this from Apple Motion JPEG A, well, this is what mine is on, to Apple DV slash DVC Pro dash NTSC. So once you've done that, it will come up with frame rate and just put in 24 there. Press enter and um, create a new MOV file. I'm just going to save mine to the desktop and I'm going to name it done. It will now export it. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's just finished exporting now. So what you want to do is just close MPEG Stream Clip. We've now finished with that. So now we've got our birds on bird feeder done. And we can just put that there. So what we want to do is we want to put this into Final Cut. I'll just go to the browser here. And then I'll just drag it on there. So it's now in our browser. And then what you want to do is you want to drag it onto the timeline. And as you can see, there is no red line along the top here that means we need to render. So we can play it straight away, and it is showing up up here. Now, admittedly, this doesn't avoid rendering altogether, because if we just put a few video filters on, um, as you can see, on Distort, the ones in bold, don't you don't have to render, but the ones that aren't in bold, you do have to render when you use them. So I can use Fisheye on it and it's just got a green line there and as you can see it's playing up here in the preview box and it's got the fisheye effect but if I just take that off a second and then go back to effects uh, and then use one like colour balance <coughs> excuse me it has the red line here which means we need to render it so most of them have got bold so there's only a few that you need to render it's a much better way than having to render every two seconds when you make a change. So thank you for watching my very quick tutorial on how to avoid rendering in Final Cut Express or avoid rendering mostly in Final Cut Express. Be sure to check out my other videos, Sam's Mac Help, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.